Hey guys, welcome to Monday. Got a new hairdo this week. It's kind of great cra for crazy, but I love it. And this week, I want to talk about hunger and fullness issues. Um, a lot of us have issues with fullness, and that can come in several different ways for, for me, um, especially when I was restricting a lot. The feeling of any food in my stomach made me really uncomfortable and gave me a lot of anxiety and to where I would perch. And, you know, some people like the feeling of being full and empty. And so it's kind of a comfort in some ways. And other people who may be binge eaters, the feeling of fullness gives them comfort. Um, people restrict the feeling of emptiness gives them comfort. So it can come in several different forms of fullness issues. But this is something that I actually still struggle with a bit because I have never really been comfortable completely with fullness. In fact, um, even though I, I eat enough calories throughout the day, but I tend to eat in tiny, tiny meals and tiny increments just all day long. And so when I go out with friends or family to a restaurant, for example, I have a really hard time eating a normal meal. And... Um, feeling full make, gives me a lot of anxiety and I usually I hardly ever eat to the point where I'm over full because um, it's just um, something that's not comfortable for me I think partly I do have some stomach issues because of all the purging that I have done over the years but so this is something that I'm still working on and I just recently started working with my dietitian again on this issue because I just felt like there's really still some <clears throat> things that I can do and work on to make this um, something that's better. So um, so one of the things that I think has helped me is to try and be more mindful of what I'm eating when I'm eating it to actually sit down and think about, um, you know, just kind of slow down and appreciate the food and appreciate the sensations in my body. And that's, it's really hard. It, um, it's still difficult for me, but I think if you're able to kind of slow down and do that, that helps. Um, if you're a binge eater, kind of slowing down to actually think about what you're eating, um, will actually make you eat less because you have the time to be aware of the sensations and get in touch with your body. And especially when you start recovery, sometimes those signals are turned off because if you've been restricting for a long time, you're likely not to feel hungry. And I never felt hungry or not recognize the hunger cues. Um, when you're binging and purging, your body is confused because it's full and then it's empty and it never knows what's going on. Um, when you're binging all the time, you are so used to being over full that you kind of lose, you don't, you lose that sense of being able to feel full. And so reconnecting your body, your mind with your body, it takes a lot of work and mind paying attention to it. One thing that my dietitian had me do at the beginning was <clears throat> we had kind of this hunger fullness skill where <clears throat> you know, hungry was, feeling hungry was like a four, um, if you're kind of neutral, I mean, where you're just starting to look at food and it starts to look good and then it goes down to like a three and um, by the time you get down to one, you're like numb to hunger because you've ignored your hunger signals for so long and a two is like when you're kind of feeling weak and nauseated. So like a three to four is when you want to actually eat. Um, and then when you eat, you should get to like a six or seven where you're feeling full, feeling satisfied, um, but you're not over full by the time you get to like an eight, nine or 10, then you're just completely stuffed. So, so that's paying attention to that is one thing that's helped me. And, um, and I actually, you know, charted that sometimes to get, re reconnect my body with my mind. Um, so those are some of the suggestions that I have. And, you know, it's, it's an issue that takes a long time. I'm still working on it, and, and, and so it may take you a long time. It can be frustrating, especially in the beginning, but you just, you got to just keep, keep working on it, 
you're going to have better weeks than others. And, but I know you can do it, and just keep going. Have a great week.